Hi everyone. Uh, I will be interfacing a new sensor that is TCN758 today. I will be going through its features, its working, its connections with other hardware applications and so on. For that, first of all go to controleverything.com and search for this sensor and here are we. So TCN758 is a temperature sensor I2C and these are some of its features as you can see. For today's video tutorial, I'm going to have a interfacing with the sensor and a particle photon. For that, I require a particle code. So, go to resource tab and here is our particle code sample which you can see. Now, click on it and from here you can download a zip file of this code. You can also have this code from our GitHub repository that is control everything community. Now, let's have a look over the hardware connections which we require for the tutorial and proceed further. Now for the hardware section, first of all we require a particle photon which you can see on my screen. Now this is an I2C shield for the particle photon. It's available on our website controleverything.com and it's very useful in making connections with other I2C devices and rather makes them very easy. So gently push over the particle photon over the I2C shield like this and make the connection. Now we require our sensor that is TCN75 and this is a connecting cable. Make the connection of the cable and the sensor like this and make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and same fact goes for the shield. Now this is a mini USB cable. This is a micro USB cable. Gently insert it over here. This is used to power up our particle photon. So these are the connections we require. Let's have a look over particle code first. Let's see the interfacing for the sensor and the particle photon. So go to github.com for that and here type in and search for control everything community and proceed further. Now for the sensor name TCN75A and here it is. And this is our required particle code. Let's have a look over the instruction for the particle photon first. We have to log into our photon and set up our device. And this is a link where you can have the installation and the setup instructions. Please have a look over carefully. In the second part, we have to download the code and the build.particle.io is the link. Now here you copy your code and go to the online ID. In the last part of the instruction, we have to verify in the flash code from the photon and after that we have to go to dashboard.particle.io link user logs where we have our code output on the dashboard. You can see it on the monitor. So this is how the particle photon works. Let's go back to particle code. And our particle code is with .ino extension. As you notice we have included some of the libraries. Uh, for the functioning and we have defined the address for the sensor that is 0x48. In the void setup function we have created some of the variables we require and initialized the serial communication with the baud rate equal to 9600. In the writing part section we have selected configuration register having address 0x01 and selected the command for 12-bit ADC resolution that is 0x60. In the next part of the void loop function we have the address data register uh, that is 0x00 and we have requested and read 2 bytes of data from this very address. In the conversion part we have our temperature data and use the formulas which are described clearly in the data sheet. At the end of our code, particle code specifically, we have our output data on the monitor or the dashboard in the form of temperature which is in Celsius and Fahrenheit scales. So this is how our code is. Let's see how it works with the sensor. Now we have to check the working of our sensor using a particle photon. So for that, copy this entire particle code and open up the new link which we have discussed, that build link and here we have to name the sensor code. Now here type in the name of the sensor tcn 75 for creation of a new code and here paste the code. Now save the firmware and here verify the code. It's good to go on now flash the code. By flashing the code we have to check for a magenta flash which will demonstrate the working of our sensor. 
Now here come the magenta flash which confirms that the code is good to go and we can have the output on our dashboard. So for that go to dashboard link which we have described earlier and open up. And here is our result in the form of temperature which is in Celsius and Fahrenheit scale. Now when I press my finger over the sensor as you can notice the change in temperature is visible. Now again doing that you can notice there is a change for temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit scales. So this is how the code works with our sensor. Let's proceed further. So we have just seen the working of temperature sensor TCN75. The TCN75 a product comes with user programmable registers that provide flexibility for temperature sensing applications. The register settings allow to user selectable temperature measurement resolution, configuration of power saving shutdown and one shot modes and specification of both temperature alert output and hysteresis limited. This sensor has an industry standard 2 wire I2C compatible serial interface along up to 8 devices to be controlled in a single serial bus. These features make the TCN75A ideal for low cost sophisticated multi zone temperature monitoring applications like personal computers and servers, entertainment systems, office equipment, general purpose temperature monitoring, and so on. This sensor is available on our website controleverything.com and the particle code is available on the same site. You can also download the particle code from our GitHub repository that is Control Everything Community. In case of any queries, you can reach us on controleverything.com and you can also post your comments on our community page. For more articles and blogs, you can contact us on instructables.com. And for more video tutorials like these, you can subscribe our YouTube channel. At the end, you have a very good day and a lot thanks for watching.